Hello and welcome to the video. So today we're going to be talking about SideQuest VR, what it is and how you can install it. So I recently did a poll on my channel and asked just how many of you are aware of SideQuest and if you use it, there's a good proportion of people who were aware of it and didn't know how to install it. There was also enough of a proportion of people who weren't aware of it for me to make this video. So I'm going to make the video on what it is, how you can get it installed and how you can access all of the wonderful stuff that's on there. So what is SideQuest? Well, SideQuest is a repository of hundreds of games and applications that are either in early development, alpha stage, beta stage, or just have not yet made it to the MetaQuest store. SideQuest was originally created due to the rigorous process that it takes to get a game accepted into the official MetaQuest store. So now there is also a middle ground uh, called App Lab, which was made in conjunction with SideQuest. So games will usually start on SideQuest if they choose to do so. Then once they've been through SideQuest, they can also choose to graduate to App Lab and then also apply to go to the MetaQuest store. So some of the popular games that you'll have seen like Swordsman VR, Gesture, which is a sketching app that I showed off recently, uh, Gorilla Tag, those have all been at some point originally on SideQuest and then progressed their way through. So it's a good place to look for up and coming games or games that are still in development that you want to give feedback on or if you want to try them out for free while they're still in a development phase. It isn't just about games though. There are some custom homes that you can use so you can customize your quest experience. There's some there from Silent Hill, Resident Evil, The Simpsons. I've done a previous video on a lot of these custom homes. There's a whole bunch of different games categorized through multiplayer, first person shooter, there's a category on there for ported games, so Team Beef, who do incredible work on porting games to, to VR and MetaQuest, as you'll see Dooms there, Duke Nukem, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Jedi Outcast, Praise on there, Castle Wolfenstein, some incredible work, so you can access those through SideQuest. There's also demos that you may want to try, and you can even go in and customize your Quest experience further through some additional settings that's only available through the SideQuest application. Settings that'll include increasing your frame rate or changing the way you record videos. You can also disable the headset proximity sensor. SideQuest is completely legal and completely safe to use. There's no issues with copyright. Like I said, it's just a repository of games that are provided by the developers themselves whilst they are still in development and they're looking for feedback or they're looking for startup engagement and sometimes money. So how do we get SideQuest? Well, for starters, you're going to need a Quest. You're going to need a cable, USB-C. Usually you get one with the Quest device. And then you're going to need one of these, a mobile phone and or a PC. So to get started, go to sidequestvr.com. I'll leave the link in the description. It is a good idea to create an account because you will need this later. So head over to sign in. Once you've got that account created, you can go to the Get SideQuest tab. Once you're at the Get SideQuest tab, you'll have two options. You'll have the web installer and you'll have the advanced installer. Both do have video tutorials, professionally made by the folks at SideQuest, so you can watch those if you wish. I'm just making this as a one-stop shop to cover any questions for the community in my channel. Now, the web installer is a new feature that arrived just a few weeks ago, which will allow you to install SideQuest on your headset. Real simply, you can use your phone or you can use the web browser. Depending on which way you want to do it, I'll talk through the new web installer first. I'm going to try and do that on this video because I haven't set that one up yet. Uh, and then we'll touch on the advanced installer, which requires installing up on your PC, which I've already got set up. When you're in the web installer, click select. It tells you what you need. You do have the video there on how to enable developer mode. It'll tell you what you need. And what you need is a USB-C cable, which we've already touched on, your Meta account, the Meta app already installed on your phone. But if you're using a MetaQuest actively, you should already have that application installed. And then in a Meta Developer account, which you can set up by using the following video, you've got Meta's instructions there. Uh, basically, all you need to do when you go into that is you go to the link that I'll link in the description to set up a developer account. So it'll tell you to join or create an organization. All you really need to do when you log into your Meta account is to give it a name. This will be the account that you're going to use for your developer account. Regardless of if you're making games or doing anything that a developer might do, uh, you do need to set up this account and this will enable you to actually turn on developer mode onto your device. So it'll ask you to give it a name, give it a name and then click finish. So this is the link that you go to to verify your account. So it'll ask you to give it a name, I've already done that. And then it'll send an email that you need to use to verify yourself. And then you also need to verify yourself with a credit card 
and a mobile phone number. Uh, this is just a precaution, you don't actually get charged for it. It is just for verification of identity and age. But there is also two-factor authentication that you can do by phone as well. Once you've done that, you can then enable developer mode. So to enable developer mode, you can actually do it on your mobile phone, or you can do it in the headset itself. The method I'm going to be teaching you is to do it through your mobile phone. But to enable developer mode on your mobile phone, simply grab your mobile phone, launch the MetaQuest app. Once you're in the app, click Menu, then go to Devices, then choose the device you want. For me, it's the MetaQuest 3. Then at the bottom, it says Headset Settings. Click Headset Settings, and then you can toggle Developer Mode on. Turn that on, and you're ready for the next step. Okay, so now we need to enable the device connection. So I'm gonna do this live for you now. So I'm gonna plug the USB-C cable into the port, the USB-C port on my device. Plug that in there like that. So there you go, we've just done these. So we, we've opened the device, we've turned on debug mode, plugged the headset into the computer. We need to select device and choose the headset. So there we are, we've got Quest 3. We're gonna hit connect, put on the headset, allow the device to connect to it. Always allow from this computer, tick that box, and it'll make things a lot smoother. So let's do just that. Putting on the headset. Okay, so there's the message, always allow from this computer. We should be good to go. So installation, you're ready to install and all you need to do is install. Click the in install SideQuest button below. So that's gonna install SideQuest onto my headset. Like I said, you can do this from your phone, uh, but you would need to make sure that the cable is connected from your phone to the Quest headset instead of your PC to the Quest headset. So there we go, SideQuest is now installed. The SideQuest app has been installed to your headset. You can now use the app to install games, apps, manage your headset and more. Right, so to link it, you need to click this link and then go to the code on your headset. So this is going to connect my SideQuest games and account to the headset itself. So on my headset, it should have a code. I just need to enter that into this screen here. Entering the code, and there we go, ready to link. Make sure you trust this app. I do, I'm linking now, and now we're all connected. Feel free to close this page and return back to SideQuest. So now just while I'm here on the SideQuest app, this is what it looks like on my PC, so this is in the web browser. Um, so home, you can see you can browse games. We've got staff picks, App Lab, so any game that's graduated through to App Lab, what's hot and fresh, and what the latest is. You can also then browse through categories. So you can go through all apps, adventure, building, climbing, combat, custom homes, early access games, educational, escape, flying, multiplayer, horror, um, anything that's got pass through, so mixed reality or pass through. If we take a look at the custom homes, as I mentioned here, why you've got Gorilla Tag custom homes, uh, The Matrix, Fortnite, The Simpsons, Resident Evil, they're all pretty fantastic. Take a look and see which ones you want to check out. Go back to home. As you scroll down, you'll see video posts and reviews. I'm a SideQuest verified reviewer, I'm a sidekick. So any sidekick reviews will go to the top of the review list and you'll probably see us a little bit more than you'll see other people. Uh, but that doesn't mean to say you won't see other people reviewing games. It just means that we'll probably do it a bit more frequently uh, and we'll tend to get pushed to the top a little bit. So you'll see some of mine are here, uh, the one I did more recently on Mannequin. Then you'll see a couple of my fellow sidekicks. You'll know it's us because we'll have a tick next to our names, SideQuest Verified Reviewer. So you can scroll through those and check those out. Um, similarly, you will see people who aren't verified, but you may want to check their reviews out and see what they have to say. Um, other options on SideQuest. So you've got giveaways in the top right. So SideQuest run frequent giveaways for credits, which can be used to enter giveaways. Uh, and they also run, run giveaways for game keys and sometimes even some fun side quest merch. So I've seen t-shirts, hoodies, and other things going on there. So it's good to keep an eye on that and see what you might be interested in entering. And if you click your profile, you can also look at your avatar. So you can edit your avatar. If you want to join any spaces or communities for any games, view the games and apps that you have in your library, look at things you've created in case you've done any posts or reviews, or if you're a developer and you've created any apps or spaces. And then if you've got any friends in SideQuest, uh, you can access those there, any messages that you may have received, and then a, an option to link your SideQuest, which we've just done. So all those options are there, 
and that's just on the web browser. Okay, so now I have it on, installed on my headset from the web installer. I'm gonna check it out and see what it looks like. So you'll notice no cables are installed now, and I'm gonna check it out. Okay, so here we are, we're on our Quest headset. So in unknown sources, so as you go in your library, you do have to go into unknown sources uh, rather than it appearing in the main sort of Quest app. So unknown sources, side quest, and here we are. So the same side quest interface you've just seen on the PC or on the browser, we now have directly on our headset. So if I wanted to sideload any of those games, I can do this now in the headset. We've got the menu on here, and we can go into our library, our download queue, if we want to look at custom homes, we can even change some device settings. All the lovely stuff you'll see in the advanced installer, changing your settings, changing your resolution, screen refresh rate, so you can go up to 120 hertz. You can enable or disable the proximity sensor, which is a pretty cool tool. You can turn on experimental mode, turn on and off your guardian, foveated rendering, full rate capture, video capture size, which eye you want to capture left or right or both, change the bit rate, hand tracking, all that lovely stuff. I'm going to look at a custom home, see how easy it is to do one of these. And then all we should have to do is click download. And you can see it's downloading that custom home now. It looks like we do have to turn on allow from unknown sources to install, which I'm going to do because I trust SideQuest application. I'm going to turn that on and then install. And there we go. Custom Home Minecraft Village installed successfully. I'm now going to see if I can turn that on. I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go personalization. And then Minecraft Village. And it's as easy as that. And there we go. We're now in a Minecraft Village. And that's how easy it is to get a custom home on your quest through side quest. So this is new, this uh, this easy installer having the app natively on your device, which is absolute, which is an absolute game changer. Previously, I would have had to have done this connecting my Quest to my computer, uh, which did restrict you somewhat. Now you can do this no matter where you are, whether you're traveling or whether you're in another room. You can access SideQuest and all of its wonderful library. Library of custom homes, library of games, settings, and all that wonderful stuff. Okay, so now we're going to look at the advanced installer portion of SideQuest itself. So this will install the actual application on your PC or Mac. So to do this, all you need to do here is to click the version that you want. So here we've got download for Windows 10. You would click that file and then run the installer from there and it will just run the same as any other sort of installer wizard onto your PC. I already have it on so unfortunately I can't show you the actual uh, install process but it's fairly straightforward it's an xxx scenario you do have the advanced installer tutorial videos here if you want to check those out but once you have that so similar to the web browser you've got the same sort of interface with some additional options so in here you can go into settings and you can do things like manage folders you can go into your quest and then manage the files you can turn on experimental features change the refresh rate you can enable or disable the guardian change your video capture size change the default texture size and your capture video bit rate so there's some settings there you can that you can alter you can also enable wireless mode to stream directly to your sidequest app wirelessly and then you can also stream wired from your quest if you're interested in doing video capture that way there is also a debugger as well which will help with any troubleshooting and you can monitor files and side loads um, through here so if you ever need to access any files or install any mods it's fairly intuitive to go into your games here usually you'll find them in the android folder and in data and then you've, your games will be in there so for that one you do need a laptop pc or mac but it's the method i tend to use or have been using for quite some time but now i've got it on my actual headset who knows and so there you are that's side quest so hopefully that's answered a few questions helped you understand how to install it understand that it is perfectly safe and perfectly legal to use and hopefully this allows you now to go forth and install SideQuest, access all of those wonderful custom homes to enhance your experience, change some of the settings that you may have been dying to change and didn't even know you could, and also access a massive library of games that are now there for you to try, a lot of which are free by the way, or some require a donation, but there's a lot of free stuff on there, free demos, 
So go ahead, check it out. If you've got any further questions on SideQuest, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a like and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.